Hi everyone, I'm Aditya Jagadeesan and I'm 13 years old this year. I'm from School of Science and Technology, Singapore, and I'm participating in RCAP Co-Space Autonomous Driving U19. About myself, my team ID is SG3062. My team consists of myself. I've participated in many robotics competitions, both national and international. To list some, RoboCup 2018 Rescue Line Second, NRC 2018 Top 25 in Presentation, National Coding Competition Bronze, Make X 2018 Singapore Champion, Make X 2018 China Best Image Award, RoboCup 2019 RoboDance Champion, NRC Open Category 2020 Top 5, and the Virtual Singapore RoboCup Coast 2020 Finalist. The exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge. The main task of this competition is to go through line tracing and a series of junctions along the way with the goal of clocking the fastest time after completing the map. This time, I'm participating in a U19 category. Some problems faced are the speed and the sensitivity of the robot causes it to miss sense colors, which can offer a shortcut. Also, narrow turning spaces in a maze. I came up with very good line tracing program so that I could get through the line tracing faster. The end result is to complete the map to achieve a good score after going through all the checkpoints. Conclusion is that to stimulate a real-life application of robots aiding in society for younger generations for, like us to be prepared. Challenge analysis. The challenge can be broken into three parts where the intersection near yellow, blue, and purple. After completing all three mini tasks, the challenge can be completed with good line tracing program. My AI algorithm is to do line tracing. I took the shortcut with using the help of the color indicator at the side of the road. The tools I used was the CodeSpace software to code, and for resources, I depend not on the RCAP Academy videos as it taught the basics. By using these tools and resources, I have a better understanding and knowledge of my mission. I'll be able to spend more time on speeding up the run. My implementation of the algorithm. If the RG RGB sensors senses the according color, it will stop for a total of 2.5 seconds. Under advanced action, I've coded the robot to stop for two seconds and move at 50-50 speed for the next 0.5 seconds. Straight. If L1 and R1 senses black, it will move forward at 60-60 speed. Slide left. If L2 and L1 senses black, it will make a slight left turn at 40-50. Slide right. If R1 and R2 senses black, it will make a slight right turn at speed 50-40. Sharp left. If L3 and L2 senses black, it will make a sharp left turn at speed 1040. Sharp right. If R2 and R3 senses black, it will make a sharp right turn at speed 4010. Yellow. Yellow is the first intersection. If RGB color sensors turn at 20, 220, 0 within the given range after the first after the fifth second, where the ultrasonic sensor also senses a range from 30 to 54, it will light up an LED and turn to the right for 0.825 seconds, which is an estimated time till it senses the black line at 60-40 speed. The yellow can be found after the second checkpoint to lead to a shortcut. All white. Since my RGB sensor was not picking up purple, it will go past it and sense all white. So I came up with an idea where if all sensor senses white in the time range between 20 to 28 seconds, it will make a sharp left turn till it senses the black line for a turn at minus 10 and 40 speed. Purple can be found on the shortcut path to lead to the maze. Turn in maze. In a maze, there is broken line but purple. Hence, I program the robot to turn right back to the black line when RGB senses 172, 129, and 219 from the given range during the 28 to the 50th second at 40, 20 speed. Blue. If RGB color senses 0, 129, and 220, it will turn to the right for 0.725 seconds, which is also the estimated time to senses the black line at 50, 20 speed. The blue can be found after the fifth checkpoint to lead to a shortcut. Debugging. Usually, the robot does not go as expected most of the time as I realize that the quality, which is the movement of the robot and the shadow, greatly affects the CPU of the computer. Hence, the robot will also lag even if the Wi Fi strength is also very low. Hence, I will reduce the quality and remove shadow. Also, sometimes the robot doesn't sense the color and does not carry the appropriate action. So, I will slow down the robot and allow it on both paths, which is shortcut and the long way round. My conclusion and further work. If I was asked to solve the problem again, I will ensure 100% shortcut and ensure you really sense the color. I will also speed it up by using PD and freezing.
my learning experience. Using this co space robot gives me a stimulation on how these might help in real life applications in autonomous driving. I've learned the importance of strategizing, being effective, and hard work. I hope that the co space competitors learn to fail so that they can learn from their mistakes and come out stronger. Let's see my run now. I completed my entire mission within one minute and nine seconds. Thank you for listening to my presentation.